turns to shit, okay? It's true. Welcome. How'd you guys like that intro? Ah, I love the music, though. The music was written by my oldest son, Michael Dane. Go visit him on Spotify, Michael Dane. He's one hell of a musician, plays everything. All right. Let's see here. What do we got going? I'm not getting the new camera working. There we go. All right, so here we go. Welcome to the dragon ship. Men, let's climb aboard and live the dream together. So I have a message for you today. And for all the Vikings that want to live that dream everywhere, I want you to remember my words, okay? So here we go. Remember these words. If you want something that you've never had before, then be prepared to do something you've never done before. All right, let's go get some. Today, uh, I, want you, I want you to make some room in your mind for some mindfulness. I will discuss a very practical way to improve your likability, your sociability, and by practicing this way of thinking, it will definitely improve your social acuity, which I've been talking about on my Dragon Ship uh, membership, which is the monthly meeting we have for men. Uh, you can find that on my website, which is www.becomedurable.com. It's right here in the video. So let's get right down to it and let's talk about improving our social acuity. Who has ever heard of Hanlon's razor? Is that like a brand name of uh, some shaving gear? What, what would that be? No, it, it's a guy whose name was Hanlon. And he discovered something very important. So what might that be, Thor? Well, Hanlon's razor was originated in 1774 by Robert Hanlon as never attribute malice, that which can be explained adequately by neglect. So the most modern and widespread version of this axiom is never ascribe malice to that which is adequately explained by incompetence. It's a mindset. It's often also attributed to the great sci-fi author, Robert Hylan. So look, making assumptions about someone's intentions and motivations based on their, their actions is, well, it's rather a large assumption that is wrong most of the time. The most likely cause for malice, evil in intent, or any other negative intention is neglect or lack of competence lack of attention. The thing of it is that there are simply fewer moving pieces and thus it's easier for such a situation to occur. Approaching others this way will create a gentler and more understanding presence when you stop taking things as personal offenses. What that means is people aren't intentionally out there trying to, to fuck with you. They're just not paying attention for the majority of the time. And that goes for men, women, relationships, bosses. How many of you have bosses that just, oh, they're such an ass, they're out to get me? Probably not. Most likely is they're incompetent and they're not really paying attention, okay? So how can we change our mental aspects so that doesn't affect us? In truth, it's far easier for a person to do something negative out of neglect or incompetence, lack of attention, than to do something out of malice. Because malice and evil requires a whole lot of planning, preparation, intention, timing, and motives. And that's just a lot of energy. And most people will not spend that. Of course, you can never know a person's true intentions. But if you presume that people aren't always trying to undermine you, it has the power to massively improve your relationships with both women, other men, at work and at play. And this is very beneficial to our tribe and to your tribe. For example, suppose that you at the store and you want a particular brand of cereal at the grocery store, yet someone two feet in front of you grabs the last box. You're certain that they saw you and yet they ignore your hand gestures and the fact that you are obviously zeroing in on the same box of cereal. Maybe it's Captain Crunch, who knows? They never even acknowledge you. Turn around and walk 
just right down the aisle, you think, what an asshole piece of shit. Yet later, you discover while you're stalking them in the checkout line because you're eyeballing with the evil eye, you see them pull out a cane with a red tip on it. They're actually borderline blind with a red tip cane and all. They could not possibly have seen your hand gestures. Well, how about this one? We can all relate to it. I was on my way back home from the acute, re acute rehabilitation care hospital where Mrs. Thor is at, driving home. I noticed cars in front of me slam on the brakes, not just once, but constantly, and this is frustrating. One car after another would slam on the brakes, then another right in front of me. I could have been thinking, WTF, what the? These people are a bunch of jerks, don't know how to drive, but no. As I moved out of the lane, I noticed a nice SUV was continuously slowing down appropriately too, but her brake lights didn't work. They didn't even come on. I knew she didn't have brake lights that are working. So all these people, you know, getting mad, giving her the finger, honk, honking on their horn, her brake lights aren't working. Here we are, simple incompetence, not paying attention to see that her brake lights are on. No malice or anything like that, probably. Sure made a lot of people really angry with a high amount of blood pressure around her. Well, it's a good example. We don't want to get ourselves in that mindset. So anyway, let's keep Hanlon's razor in mind. Just a couple examples. You probably know many more. If you think about some right now, how did you feel if you found out that later how fucked up you were in your assumptions? What, did, what you did was just create an anxiety and rage in a situation where it really didn't need to exist. This actually changes your brain. When you make assumptions about people and about their intentions and malice, it changes you physically with the chemistry in your brain. It pumps up the adrenaline. Cortisol skyrockets in your body. Blood pressure goes up. Your blood vessels constrict. If this happens to you over and over, it will become your first thoughts and you will have overreaction rage all the time. This is not a way to interact with people. It's not a way to improve your people skills. Do you ever hear a benefit of the doubt? That's what Hanlon's razor is. Give people the benefit of the doubt, even if it appears at first glance that there's malice and ill intent, because generally there is not. And continue on with your interaction. Look, you could have kept your cool, let things roll off your back, but you didn't in some circumstances. So that is the purpose of Hanlon's razor. So keep it in mind, force you uh, to take your offended ego out of the situation, analyze it with everyone's best intentions in mind. It forces you to ask, what are the innocent explanations for this? Yes, I'm starting to feel it, get a little pissy, stop, take a breath, look around. This will improve your outlook and really place you in an advantage because you won't be in an artificially induced fight or flight state of mind all the time. People are oblivious and thoughtless at almost all times, including you and me, but usually it doesn't mean what you think it means. Most importantly, if you assume people don't hold any malice towards you, you are bound to view them in a much more positive light and hence they will you too. So it does take practice though. Why not start now? All it takes is to explore the alternative possibilities of your assumptions and give people that benefit of doubt, maybe a grain of salt, and question your assumptions when you're interacting with folks. Well, people do make split decisions and judgments all the time about others from the tiniest actions, body language. We never think twice about how incorrect the basis for these conclusions might be. Just remember, majority of people possess a degree of reasonableness. Reasonableness is the opposite of intention and spite. The sentiment that people are acting irrationally with no sane thoughts to guide them. There are always reasonable people out there behaving in a certain way. Sometimes they're just not paying attention uh, to the reality around them. And so take that moment, always take the moment. When you're engaged with someone, take the breath, ask yourself the question before you spit it out. Just don't react, all right? So that's Hanlon's razor for all you on the dragon ship. Now, that's gonna allow us to live our dream and become gods amongst normal men. That's the lesson for today. So until next time, this is Thor. Skull. <laughs>